Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today I have a special video. My sister Molly is Hi. here. She is, they have a YouTube channel also and an Instagram at Stream and Freedom. I will link that down below. But she has shared with me on my channel before. We've done several videos together. She has shared her planner changes throughout the years that I've been doing yeah, this. I've had a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe more than me. Yeah, I blame Maybe. that on our tiny living lifestyle. Right, so she's been living for the past two and a half years in a Class A RV, and they have been traveling the USA, but they will have an announcement on their channel or their Instagram soon about yes. that, so we can't say anything. All right, but right now, she just left an Erin Condren again. She's yes. used Erin Condren a lot. So it's yeah, not like you're new. Yeah, for quite a, like, a, before me. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. So it's not like she's new to it, but she just, she was giving it a try again. But on the RV, lots of things are determined by how your planner works, by how much space you have to lay out things, right? Yes. And so right now she is switched to all traveler's notebooks. And hers are from May Designs. Yes, all May Designs. I oh. like them because they're sewn in. I do not like the kind that you can get. For less money, but stapled. Yeah, so we'll show you one on the seam. It's sewn on the seam instead of stapled. And she is in a chic sparrow traveler's notebook. Cover. Cover. Yeah. Leather. It is so nice, you guys. We're going to talk all about it and show her books. I'm going to let her do most of the talking. <laughs> so take it away, sister. Okay. So it comes with this elastic band. The chic sparrow um, notebook that I went with, I will show you. I have it pulled up. It's called the Outlander Deluxe Highland Green. So that's my exact one, and it's a, a wide. They come in different sizes. Okay, and I will link that exact, her exact notebook down below, and it fits the medium-sized May books. Yes, if you're going to go with May books, that's the size you'd have to get in the Chic Sparrow. So I went with the Deluxe means you com it comes with pockets. Okay, so you don't have a choice to put those on or off in the Deluxe, maybe? Um, I don't think you do. I okay. think the Deluxe comes with the pockets, and it comes stitched. Now, you can get, she has this color, she has tons of different ones, so you just have to go on the website and look. Right. But this one has the stitching and the pockets and the sewn-in um, pen, pen holder. Yeah. And can I just say, you guys, there are very few pen holders that function well. This pin holder is amazing. You can actually put a pin even with this thick rubber grip on it. This is a Pilot Juice .38. But you can stick a pin even with a rubber grip easily in and out of this thing. You could clip it down, but it's not even necessary because it actually stays in pretty well. Yeah. But this pin holder is amazing. This, this whole Chic Sparrow Traveler's Notebook is amazing. So I have... So it's recommended that you put four... Um, notebooks in. I put five and I did that by buying these extra bands by Midori on Amazon. And they're not expensive, right? They're a comes, couple for like, like a pack of three or four for like seven dollars. Yeah. Yeah. So you get three or four bands for seven dollars. Otherwise, um, Chic Sparrow has four sewn in elastics that comes with it for four bucks. Yes. I will link those extra bands from Amazon also down in the description. So these are my five different notebooks that look what they look like on the outside. But the insides are different because with May Designs, they have many choices you can for the insides. Yeah, you can, you can customize quite a bit. So you customize the outside plus the inside of your notebook with May Designs. You can put even customized your name or initials, but that's like, I think, $5 extra if you add. I didn't print. do, yeah, I didn't do This is that. print that just came on the notebook. Yeah. So this one is the monthly, which I haven't really used yet because it's for 2019. So it has your 12 months, and then after your 12 months, you have dot grid paper, which is, you have quite a bit. Yeah, you do. So yeah. it comes with a good amount. And I think all her... Show us a blank month that maybe you haven't written a lot in, just a good look. Just really simple. Right. You have a notes, and then you have the next month. And it has a blush pink accent. I think she has some without the blush pink accent. Yeah, this one was blush pink on the inside. Right. And then I think she has some without the pink. 
Now, May Designs paper is 60 pound. I need to go ahead and say that. That's not a very high pound weight. That equates to 90 GSM if you need either one of them. That's a pretty low pound weight, but here's the weird thing. I've used my May Designs notebooks mm -hmm. for notes and everything, yeah. and for some reason, it just doesn't bother me. Yeah. The, with this juice pilot, yes, it works really well. Now the happy, it's a thin tip. Yeah, the happy stripe pen you gave me from yes, oh my gosh, from Simplified. From Simplified, this that pen. actually is too it, it too will, inky. Yeah, too inky. So if you have a thicker tip, then like she has a point three eight, and it that did, is, it didn't bleed, but right, it did, it's too yeah inky. shows a lot through. You have a lot of ghosting. Yeah. Um, so that's a 0.38 pilot juice and it's not really inky and it's a very thin tip. So I, that's my favorite pin as of right now. So I have that first monthly. And let's tell them you also use the Ollie clips, which I use a lot. Yes. You have the thinner. They make the thinner and the thicker. I don't know if they have the thinner at container store where I, when um, I bought mine, cause I, I have haven't another seen another one. Is this thicker? Is that thicker? No, those, these oh, are the thinner. Okay. And I've only found the thicker ones at Container Store, I think. These are from Container Store. Oh, but maybe just I've when I was in there. a long time. Okay. Okay, so she's... So some are thinner and will hold less pages. They'll still hold a good amount. These are really strong magnets. Yeah, I don't have it holding the oh. max pages that you can do. <laughs> right. But she has a thinner profile one than the ones I've shown in my videos. So they're thinner. They'll have a less of a bump when you're writing in your notebook. They just won't hold quite as many pages, but there's still a way stronger magnet than like the bookmarks. Now I found an Etsy shop. I've never purchased from it that sells the Ollie clips. I have seen that before. I don't, I guess they put custom colors into them or yeah, they have more options. Okay. And just to say like this, although it's pretty slim like this, it will hold so much more like this will hold two pages max your magnetic bookmark and plus then it takes up a huge amount of space on your page it is pretty though no it is pretty <laughs> but just to think about that's one thing i love about the ollie clips yes. but i think we need to go to container store today so i can see if they have the thin ones these also make great bookmarks if you're reading a real book yes yes for real mm -hmm. so that's my monthly this is a weekly layout so you get the days of the week starts with monday then you have all you have graph paper at the bottom, and you the last page on the back is graph paper. Other than that, no it, notes. There's no notes. It's undated, so you can start whenever you want. I like how you assigned a color to every month. So yes. as you flip through, right. So that's February, and I highlight any like holidays that I want to add in, or okay. or family birthdays, and then I switch over to a different color. I like how you switch colors. How many months fit in this book? I started. Near the end of September, okay. and this will take me until mid-June. So it's probably six months. Oh, no, sorry, not September. No, 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 no. Nine so, months? October, November, December. Yeah, nine months. Yeah, that's interesting. So I'll show September. you a week. I'll pick an older week. So and there's I, no monthly layouts, no notes pages no. except for one very last page. Everything is just your weekly layout. Yes. Okay. So I'll put... Um, anything scheduled, I'll take it from my iPhone, and then um, I'll write in if it's a travel day. I'll try to keep track of my workouts, and then for the day, I'll put my to-dos. Okay. But I keep ongoing to-dos or errands and things down below. I love that. I love this layout. Or any, or any type of notes. I love this layout for a small weekly like book. And just to look at ghosting, because I know people like to see things up close. Cause we don't really have like a pen test page, but one, so you can see this page has a lot more written on this side. You can see how the ink will show through right there. It is 60 pound paper. So it doesn't feel like super thin, cheapo no. paper. It doesn't feel, but it doesn't feel super thick, but it definitely feels thicker than like target planners. Most of them yeah. to me. So I feel like it's a good 60 pound paper, but it's still only 60 pound. You're going to have ghosting. Just to let you guys know, you have to be okay with that if you're doing May Designs, May books. And personally, I love her May books. It doesn't bother me. They just kind of feel like, I don't know, like this friend that it's okay if it gets yeah. messed up. And and also her covers are not coated in anything. I want to say that. So if you spilled water or something on here, it is going to mess your cover up. It's not coated. It has a texture to it. There's a texture that feels good. And it's just, you know, like a paper 
Yeah. It's not coded in anything protective. So this is the weekly agenda. I like how they even put a cute end page there. Yeah. So it's weekly undated. I'm not sure if she has dated weeklies or not. I know she has some dated products. I'm just not sure if that is in there. She does have some dated products. So this next one is I chose just to have blank all graph paper. Okay. And it's just kind of our travel journal. I used to do, I did it Erin Condren. The Erin Condren photo journal, which I did for the past year. If you want to know more about that, look under my journals playlist and I actually have videos with Molly on there too. So I'll still include pictures occasionally. Yeah. But I like this that. will kind of be our fam my family journal where okay. I kind of document our day to day life. Okay. Um and then this uh this one this is my personal journal so I will not open okay. that. It's also just it's just grid graph paper. Yes. So you got two of those. You got two of those. Those are both. And don't y'all love journals. this cover for Christmas? It was a Christmas, but I thought it fitted. I know, I know fit but it can year. fit yeah. anytime. I like how they made it black and white. I mean, yes. the movie's black and white, but it can fit for any time of year. And then, which I have not done anything with this yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going oh, to try to get book. it started for the new year, but it's a gratitude. I want to use it as a gratitude journal. I just want to incorporate this somehow because I'm not going to... But you're not sure what you're going to do with that site. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. What do you think you're going to do? Do a gratitude a day or a week? Like, is this going to be for a week or per day? Not per day. I'm okay. thinking maybe like, yeah, at the end of each week. Right. Maybe write a little something and then maybe at the end of each day if I want to just, if something... You want to remember, I you want to remember, jot it here. Right. Yeah, and maybe you could even jot down just when something happens during the week. You don't have to wait till the end. Yeah. Because that's what I have to do or I forget. Yeah. I like that idea about making this like a weekly kind of gratitude yeah. recap. Like that you can write on throughout the week. I like that. I have this one and I have just actually used it just for extra lists right now. Like just as right. a list notebook. I actually didn't use it for this. I got it for a review video. I thought it was a really cool... Um, layout and that I wanted to share when I introduced May books and that's why I got it. But so this one has gratitude first, you have a date and then you have five spaces, thoughts and notes, and then you have just, you know, grid graph paper for lists and you have tick off boxes here. And they just have so many different insides that you can pick from. Yeah. For journaling, for agendas, for they have all different kinds of paper. They have lined. They have notebook even type of paper with blue lines. And they have diff – don't they have three sizes of notebooks? They have three different sizes. This is the medium. And they also have like a million covers. Yes, like a ton of covers. A ton. So you can match um, – They if you pick the size of notebook you want, you can search by size of notebook or you can search by inside layout yeah. that you want. So you can search by inside pages – their site is actually really easy to use. It, I like their site. It is easy. And I'm impressed really by it. Easy to use. And Emily Lay contracted her covers from last year. I don't know if contract is the right word. Gave rights to her covers yeah. to May Designs last year. It was before she came out with her little notebook. So I wonder if she's going to do it next year. I don't oh, but, know. So this is what we mean by it's sewn. It's a sewn journal. Yes. Yes. So the spine is sewn. They hold together really well. Well, it gives you the... When something's sewn, it lays more flat. Yes, than stapled. And I feel like it holds together better because I've used yes. both types of notebooks. Over time, I just feel like I really love the sewn notebooks. So I can leave this open, and I usually have it clipped. But yes. I can see, even with all these extra notebooks at the back, it still opens. Yeah, really flat. well. Like that yeah. is, even when that you have five notebooks in here, I'm actually impressed and now I was going to ask you, because the credit card pockets, because I've had a problem with some mm -hmm. of the cases I've reviewed, when you're writing in the front, they make they make a bumpy there. Well, that's why I put the when monthly right write. there, because I'm not going to write a lot. Write a lot. Right. I put anything I'm going to write a lot more at the back, so then you can't fill it. Yeah, that's smart. But just to let you guys know, if you are ordering from Chic Sparrow, if you need, if you don't want to have bumps and you don't need pockets, yeah. then you might want to think about picking one without these credit card I wasn't slots. sure if I wanted it, but I also like it because it makes it feel more substantial because it adds weight. Yes. Let me grab to the notebook. But it, it will, the, this monthly, you'll feel it more. But that's why I put the monthly up front because... The amount of writing I'm going to do. And then if I get back to that, it's less. Yes. 
Yeah, and you can't, yeah, here it feels fine. You can't really feel it. Yeah, it's going to be more up here that you're going to feel. Yeah. I was just going to show because we talked about Emily Lay's little notebooks from Simplified. They are staple. So there is two staples in them right there. And hers are smaller. So if you're looking at wanting and Simplified cover on your notebook, all their covers from this year, from 2019, are done by May Design. So you can pick any of their covers. And um, her notebooks are bigger. They're the same width but they are taller and these are not sewn. These are just stapled and they are only lines inside and you have no choice of an inside, just lines with a little pineapple. So they're completely different types of notebook size wise and like yes. choice wise. But so if you want a simplified cover and you want to be able to like choose your insides and have a little bit bigger notebook than this, then that's your, that is a yeah. great go to May designs. And if you don't, if you want to not spend as much on your insides of your traveler's notebook, Amazon and Etsy have a, you just right. look up travels, traveler's notebook, but yes. a lot of them will be stapled versus. Right. That's a really good point. Versus so May something. Designs, of course, there's a, a ton of companies that do traveler's notebooks and even on Amazon yes. and like you said, Etsy. So May Designs is just one of the choices for traveler's notebooks. And of course, you can use these out separate like I've used mine just right. for list notebooks. You don't have to have a Chic Sparrow or any traveler's notebook holder. Let's go into the Chic Sparrow. I feel like we've taught, we pretty much covered everything in yes. the May Designs, but I just kind of want to show them like, look how thick this is. This leather is so thick, right? And it really depends on the style. Okay. That you pick as you, to what kind of leather you get. What kind of leather. Whether it, this one's really smooth. Mm -hmm. There's some yeah, that is. might have a little bit more grain. And the, I mean, it gets, it'll get nicked and stuff. Right, like hers has. But that just kind of makes it, it feels so good in hand. This cover, you guys, I don't even need a cover like this. But it makes <laughs> me want one. Because that's how good it feels, like, in your hand. And look at the green leather. I mean, it's probably not even showing up as well. It's on hard camera. it's hard to tell on camera how that it's green. That it's and green. but it really does look hunter green here and the inside is definitely, you know, hunter green. It's just really thick, really well made traveler's notebook. Yes. I mean, it is a splurge. It is for sure. It is a splurge especially depending on your size. The smaller you go, obviously, the less leather you're going to use and the less expensive. But this exact one is, um, I think, just under $105. Yes. But you know what? The thing about this is you can literally use this for the rest of your life. I mean, yes. I don't see this ever getting ruined. So even if there's years you don't use Traveler's Notebooks, you just put it away and save it. Right. But And I also just bought the May Designs and used those for a few weeks before I ordered this. That was a good idea. So she tried out the May Designs books before she invested in this to decide, to make sure that she was probably going to want to use them yes. for a good amount of time. Yes. Well, that is awesome. I'm so glad we got to this video together and share this because I love her system and it's so different from what I do. And this is like all her life is in, her paper life is in one portable, amazing, beautiful little book. So I'm so glad that we could share that while she's here for Christmas break because then she's leaving me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All those Bye. links will be down below. You want to say anything? <laughs> I, I talked over your goodbye. Oh, no. Just thanks for having me. I'm not a planner person. but Well, you are actually because you got Erin Condren <laughs> way before me. That was really random how that happened. I don't know yeah. much about planners. I just know what I like and what works for me. But you've always used a planner I have for most always, of your adult life. Like Yes, I've always loved paper. So You actually were probably more into planners before, than I was, yeah. like before me. Yeah. As an adult. I mean, I always used a planner, but I think you were more into it. Yeah, because you just used like any... Planner. Like Target planners, yeah. Mary Angle Bright. Come. I know. <laughs> I know. It's kind of crazy with this channel. How did that happen? Now you're the planner guru. <laughs> I would not say Goober. But <laughs> anyway, thanks guys. Happy planning and we'll see you next time. Bye.